What's up guys? Hope everything's going good for you. Big fire truck there, eh? So I want to kind of get an opinion on um, what people think about aggressive versus passive driving. Specifically for not not just motorcycle, but specifically on a motorcycle. So I've always considered my I've always felt like I drove pretty aggressive um, when I'm in my car. I guess kind of can define it um, the way I think of it at least is, and this may be wrong. I don't know if there's actually like a definition of aggressive driving. I think there, there, it was discussed in like um, driver's ed a little bit maybe. But the way I think of aggressive driving is like basically using acceleration, uh, acceleration rather than braking in, a, in uh, like to basically get yourself into a position of safety proactively um, so essentially I think of it as like you might have to speed a little bit you might have to go a little bit fast but if you can if, if you can do that to put yourself into a position where it's a more open open space for you you're able to get out of congested zones quicker and you're able to get yourself out of the way of hazards safely you're able to get yourself out of the way of hazards without creating more hazards for other people on the road. That's what I consider pass or sorry, aggressive driving where you can you can drive and basically keep the road safe for everybody else, but in doing so you're keeping a mindset of getting yourself out of every single danger zone that you can, keeping yourself away from any potential of uh, you know hazardous situations that could be prone for accidents so like interstate driving for example I always like to get I usually go faster to get out of traffic congestion unless I'm stuck behind it and you know it's two lanes wide you can't get past it obviously there's there's discrepancies to it but I like to drive faster to get out of the way of people because when I feel like I'm congested behind somebody or something if I get in front of them and I get more, and I see less cars, get get a more open space, I feel more comfortable and I'm definitely more safe than when I'm around cars. I guess in short, you could describe it as driving in a in a way that uses aggressive manners, such as such as using more gas, uh, using more throttle, um, as well as like maybe changing lanes more changing lanes more often um, and in doing doing so to create a safer environment by opening up the road a little bit more that's the way I think of it um, so yeah um, so then passive driving I would say that's more like I hate to just categorize it as like you go the speed limit and only the speed limit or even under the speed limit but that kind of seems like that's what it is like you go you go the speed limit a safe a safe speed um, and you let others do something before you're ready to act right so I always think of the differences like when you have a passive driver they're gonna sit and wait they're gonna hesitate to do something before they do it and maybe that's just them thinking it through more uh, 
more efficiently or, or like not more efficiently but they're thinking it through longer but that's somebody who's gonna wait longer whereas a more aggressive driver once they pass somebody they're immediately like changing lanes or whatever it may be um, whatever thing they're doing switching lanes speeding up that kind of thing and so I don't think passive driving is like a bad thing but when you get when you get the the congestion between the two it starts to kind of cause problems I feel like because like passive passive drivers kind of create the need for aggressive drivers in a sense because then people that go a little bit above the speed limit they then now have more obstacles to get around um, and that kind of thing so I don't think one's more correct than the other really but like I personally drive aggressive because I think it's usually safer now you have the the on the contrary going past driving aggressively you're usually going to be going maybe a little bit faster taking a little bit riskier maneuvers but if you're comfortable in doing like quick lane changes and you're comfortable in accelerating at high speeds um, I don't think there's a problem in doing so because it's really not you're really creating less problems for yourself by doing by you know getting yourself out of the danger zone and so that's I mean that's a little bit on my thoughts of it. Like I said, I don't really know exactly which one's better. I think a lot of people, like my parents, would probably say passive driving is probably a little bit safer. You know, going slower, not speeding, not crossing over lanes. And and like I said, please understand this: like aggressive driving doesn't mean cutting people off, going 90 on the interstate. No, it's not that by any means. Nor do I do that or condone that kind of driving. It's more so like understanding when you have to um, when you have to speed up and go a little bit over the speed limit to say get in front of someone or get out of a congested zone or you have to make a lane change to continue your path of motion and not slow down because another thing that I think is kind of a problem is that like when you're driving on the interstate and you're you're in cruise right and you have to sit and constantly break because you're, you know, you go in the right lane and you're behind somebody and they're not going near as fast as you, so you have to sit and constantly break. I feel like that causes problems because it's kind of a break of motion and flow uh, of traffic. And so it cause, I think that causes issues because then that's when you get your backups and congestion that happen. And then, I mean, more and more backups, especially in a really busy interstate traffic backups cause a lot a lot of problems and I think a lot of that can be I mean not solved but you know usually it's the aggressive drivers that are getting out of the way of those kind of hazards so I don't know that's just what I choose to do I tend to ride a little bit more conservatively on the motorcycle um, not near as you know I don't make as much like abrupt lane changes not that I make very abrupt lane changes when I'm driving in my car, but um, I don't. I, it's hard for me to judge because I don't really do much interstate or highway riding on the motorcycle, so I can't really say much. Oh, what's this? It's a beautiful R6 here. Wow, I just was talking about the, this in a other video. Gosh, it's awesome. That beautiful blue. This is the one I saw riding around some point I can't remember when I saw that but I saw that riding around once when I was working out I think <laughs> look how much bigger that is compared to mine huge beautiful Yamaha logo on the side I wonder what year that is that's got to be fairly new who knows anyways let me know what you guys think about passive versus aggressive driving I hope I didn't like make make myself seem like a bad person for driving aggressively or uh, seem like a kind of an idiot for trying to explain why driving faster and more dangerously can be because I know that's common common thing people you know everybody likes to think aggressive driving is driving dangerously but hopefully I didn't seem like I was trying to encourage driving faster or driving crazy or whatever you may think but I just that's the way I think about driving I don't I don't 
consider myself to drive dangerously. I understand the risks. I mean, I ride a motorcycle for crying out loud. You know, I understand the risks that come with riding on the road. So I don't, by any means, I don't, I don't, I don't drive dangerously. But I do think aggressive driving is beneficial for a lot of reasons. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Take it easy.